most of us having a tough time bearing this heat. So imagine doing business in it. Many local businesses rely on their outdoor seating and service. And they are having to make some changes this summer to battle these temperatures and protect their bottom line. RJ Marquez has our top story. You walk outside and you can you get punched in the face with this this thick air. The extreme heat is taking a toll and many local outdoor businesses are working on ways to keep up their bottom line. Definitely seen a drop in business. Um, People are still coming out. We're still getting a crowd. They're just coming out later in the day. Taryn Furman owns Elsewhere Garden Bar and Kitchen downtown. He says they have not had to change hours, but with customers not wanting to be outside during the hottest parts of the day, they've adjusted staffing a little bit. We'll cut people if, uh, again, if we're not super busy. Um, but uh, thank goodness I haven't, to let, haven't had to let anybody go. And in an effort to keep their customers cool, Taryn says that they have the misty nozzles here ready to go every night. They also have up to 20 fans on the property. Plus, as you can see around me, there's all sorts of shaded seating in the area, all in an effort to make sure that their customers are out of the direct sunlight. Around the corner at the Pearl, people are finding any way to stay cool. Restaurants like Southerly told us off camera they're mostly keeping customers indoors, and there are very few requests for outdoor seating. Between the construction and the heat, downtown is almost a ghost town. And it's much of the same at El Camino. Ricky Ortiz says his food truck park is seeing a steep decline in business. We're down in, in revenue significantly. I mean, somewhere upwards of like 70, 80 percent with all the factors. Ortiz says that he now has to open on some weekdays as late as 6 p.m. to make sure his customers are comfortable enough to enjoy some food and drinks outdoors. Sit in the shade and get in front of a fan and, you know, you can sit out here for an hour or two and, and be fine just as long as you stay hydrated. RJ Marquez, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.